Yellow, this is delusional here. I have another matchup analysis video for you guys that has to do with one of the subscribers that have sent me their Tekken ID and they want their matches to be, re to be reviewed essentially. Now, I kind of wanted to go back to the settings so I can turn off the sound like the uh, the music audio in the background so I can add my own but I'm looking at the replays here and there's one specifically where there's a match going against the king there is a win matchup up 3-3 so they had a double KO moment and I have to see this I have to see the replay because that, that's content right there that, that's content I have to I have to see it so I haven't watched it yet mind you so I'm just gonna go in and see exactly how our friend here, our fellow brother Yoshimitsu player here, how he plays Yoshimitsu at Fujin, it seems. Okay, see the drip. Okay, he goes for his down forward two. He's trying to go for a counter hit option. If he goes for the one and you don't duck it, you actually end up getting launched from right there. So good shit that he didn't end up pressing any buttons right there in the first place. Do I have everything set up? Wait, just in case, guys. Okay, let's continue. Okay, 2-2, two, two. Uh, try to go for the bait. Good option, good option, but since it's already too early, it's a bit too early in the game, eh, say that weirdly. You're both Fujins, so at this point, and I'm seeing that you also have a win rate of 2, so you must have had some decent matches before this. But I would say using 2-2 two, two right at the beginning into the flash setup is a little too early in the matchup. You have to like at least condition the king into the 2-2. Two, two. But I'm just going to assume that maybe you want to test the waters first, and that maybe the king would have pressed buttons and got hit by the flash. Nice back three. Mm, I wasn't sure if four would have been the better punish right there. Let's see. Let's go back. You probably may have enough time to go for a back 2-2 two, two to go into a heat engager. Let's test the waters. Let's go one more time. Okay. Yeah, see, you can get the back 2-2. Two, two. But I'm guessing that maybe because you were a little bit, you know, not sure what to do right there, if maybe the back 2-2 two, two wasn't going to work, so you went for the 4 instead. But then again, if not the back 2-2, two, 3-1 two, would have been another good option as well. Ah, I guess he's pressing the 4 and I can't get the 3-1. There we go, now I did it. <laughs> I had to do it perfectly, it wouldn't work. So yeah, you could have gone for 3-1 or back 2-2 two, two as your options. Either one can go into your heat engager, but if you wasn't trying to go for the heat engager, maybe you want to use it later on, then the best thing that I can say here is 3-2-1 plus 2, because you're kind of behind the king. So let's try that again. Yes. You kind of went for 3-2-1 plus 2, and that would have hit the king. If not the combo, I mean the heat engager, I mean, for the setup, you can at least get some big damage from that. Okay, you, okay, this time you didn't go for the flash. I wasn't sure I was going to go for it, but this time you went. Oh, nice! Nice uh, Kensho stance into the parry. Okay, 4, 1 plus 2. Oh, you're trying to be cool here. You're trying to go the, for a party. Alright, uh, but it didn't work. He ended up going for his power crush there. Oh, nice duck. You was going to assume that you was preemptively making the read they're gonna go for the, the command grab but then you went for flash okay now another big eh, another good back three there oh no yeah this is the, this is the thing about kings eh? they have the opportunity they will use their i think it's what back three i believe it's back three oh you know the setup too so you ended up getting up i believe it's either pressing up immediately to get out from that situation i believe that's what it is and you got the flash of good shit all right nice into the windmill setup and he got too impatient he got caught nice slow parry man you why do you want me to review your replays you man you're doing well oh this was panic wasn't it you panicked didn't you it says here that you did down back 1 plus 2, so I don't know if I'm, it's because it's like reversed because you're in the player 2 side now. 
If not, then I guess you actually did go for it then. No. Uh, the, yeah, I'm gonna assume you probably panicked. Or maybe you maybe you fat fingered the the button to go for it. Maybe you wanted to go for something else. I don't know. I'm just making assumptions here as well. But you now he does back three and you ended up evading to your left. Good shit. Oh see, now you did three one. Another three one. He was probably trying to see he's gonna go for a low. Maybe he's gonna try to low parry it. Then again, if you weren't for your samurai cutter, he wouldn't be um, been able to do to do that since you can't low parry the samurai cutter unblockable. But you went for 3-1. Great. Now you go for... Okay, set up. Into the flash. Nice. Nah, it doesn't work like that. Uh, if you're very close to the wall at that point, your best option is to either go for... Either one thing I will tell you is either go for 4 forward uh, 4, the, the knee kick. And if he gets up just like he did right now... Let's see if I can do it here, actually. Okay. This is, this is for if you want to do it. I don't know if it's going to work. Let's see. Oh, I did it too. Mm. Oh, it doesn't work. Maybe because of the angle? No, that should work. Ah, no, that's so weird. Why is it not working? That usually works as a setup. One more time. Let me see. Yeah, see? I knew it! I knew it! Maybe because I did it too early. So you can essentially do that as a setup and catch the king off guard, and that would have been death. Alright, so let's go and see what you do here. So you do this, but again, that didn't really work because he was already too low to get him back to the ground. That's why the 3-2 into the 1 plus 2 didn't, didn't work right there. Okay, we still blocked it. Okay, he, the king wasn't impatient. I, I, I like the strategy right there to see if he was going to go and attempt to go for it. But then you cancel it because you saw that he wasn't going to go in. Okay. Oh, he did that. Let's see. Let's go one more time. That's plus three. So since it's plus three, he can either go for a 13 frame move to try to trap you in. Or a jab. So what I w would have done here is either crouch and go for a dick jab or maybe be a little bit bold and go for a samurai cutter maybe if not then your best option at this point is to attempt to just wait out and see what he's gonna do and maybe punish the grab okay he may attempt to go for his weird back kick or into the unblockable yeah he did the back kick Okay, he does wall running. I believe this is wall running three. Is that wall running three? I can't even tell because it's so mixed up here in the, in the screen. Nice! Goes into full crouch on forward four into the launch. Ah, but mess up the combo. Let's, let's, let's see that again. Let's see what happened there. Ah, uh, that's why. I usually don't really go for that combo often simply because that it, it's so tricky. The, the way you have to kind of like do it quickly enough to perform it. And if not, then it'll just drop. So I tend to go for down forward one, two into the one, I think, for the bound. But you went for your, what was it, back three again? Yeah, back three. Nice, very smart. Okay, you played it safe this time. You know, wasn't wasn't going to go for anything crazy, but he went for his... The kick, the unblockable kick, magical something, magic four. <laughs> I forget the actual command grab's name. Unbelievable of me. But you ended up breaking it. Great. Mm, four crash on four four. Gone for the poise and breath, but you was a little slow. Like, you hesitated right there. Let me go back. See, like, you went for this, and then you backstep a couple of, a couple of times in the Korean backdashing, but then you didn't go immediately into the poison breath. Oh no. Okay. Nice. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. You still got him anyways. If he ducked the two, you went for the four anyway since it's a mid. If he blocked it, it would have been unsafe. So then he would have taken the turn and actually hit you off. But, smart. Oh no. S oh shit. Okay. Another. Nice! Okay. Mm, 
Wait, did you guys destroy the wall already? No, you guys didn't yet. I would have actually used the wall blast to have dealt more damage. And then went for the rage art. But for whatever reason, it missed here. So that's so sad right there. And that's so crap. That's that's the fault of the game, not really on you. Fight. Okay. Smart, smart. Went for dragonfly into forward one plus two. Oh, you're trying to be funny now. Okay, nice mix. Uh, the, the, I wouldn't have done that. I probably would have done that if I was, you know, my old self. I used to do that a lot during that setup, but I would... I, no, that's... What? Brother, you're teaching me something new now. That's minus 12. What did he use? He went for a 10 frame. That's his turn. <laughs> he took it away by using back three. What? That's crazy. Ah, uh, this time he went for a, an immediate wolf ending four, so he caught you off guard. I saw he was trying to do, do the same setup again with the Dragonfly 2 into four. So your best option there is not go for the uh, Dragonfly 2. Okay, he punches with that. Okay. What was that? What was that? Oh, that was his. I'm going to assume that's the Shining Wizard. Now I remember the name, Shining Wizard. And you beat it up. Was it Shining Wizard actually? I could be wrong here. He went for back one plus two. What is that? Oh, he's trying to choke you into taking the side switch. Nice, nice. Oh, uh, mm, he he made a good read against you there. Oh, you were impatient. You should have just waited. Nice, you got the setup now. So now let's see what's gonna do. Nice, smart. I thought you was gonna go for the flash. To be honest, if you did, he would have caught you. But nice thing that you, you didn't go for it and you went for that instead. And since he went to go press buttons because you whipped the one. But the one one, the last hit, while you're in no sword stance or while you're in your heat. Gives you a launch. No, I would have went for forward four instead. Either that, the other best option I think could work is Kensho into forward two. Would have probably gotten you the wall blast. Or if my memory serves me right, uh, forward three, another good choice. Either way, the other options will definitely would have helped you. No, no, CD two. CD two would have uh, broken the wall, given you the wall blast. But you got it. Okay, man, you're breaking the Shining Wizards right there. You know your stuff. I mean, then again, he is being telegraphed, running towards you and attempting to go for a command grab. But if this king had a little bit more knowledge and dexterity to perform the... What's it called? I forget what it's called. His giant swing. His giant swing... If he went for that against you, then you probably would have gotten caught. Because I mostly do the same thing like you. I would have been uh, assuming he's going to go for the Shining Wizard to break it with the 1 plus 2. Okay, Poison Breath. Go for the neutral. Oh, you go for, okay, same thing. Same setup. Okay, see, this is how you... If, if you guys are seeing this, you see how he went for down forward 4. This is good. If you want to play Keep Out... See, right there, he went for the down 4-4 again to see whether or not if the king was going to move forward. Now, if the king went for a power crush, he would have gotten hit. But this is still a smart decision to try to play keep out and doing down 4-4 to try to stop the king from moving in. But since he stopped right there, the king and then immediately went for his down, no, not down, forward 2-1. Nice, smart. Uh, but you, you got greedy, you got greedy. Nice. Smart, smart. He would have gone hit if he crouched there, but I think he was making the read whether or not if he was going to do it. Okay, that's safe. Okay, back three again. Okay, trying to trying to party here a little bit. Got caught by that. Smart. Ah, yeah, this king is being red. You're doing an amazing job, brother, right now. Hmm. Ooh, that would have probably hit me. Smart. 
Okay, this is weird. So then why are you... He has a very low amount of health here. How do you guys got 3-3? Three, three? Oh, we have to wait and see what's going to happen here. The, the, the timer is almost off. Okay, he, you're minus there, but he didn't really use the opportunity to hit you there. Now he caught you. Okay. I mean, okay. That's what happened. Okay. So no, no. Ah, so no death match or some, some shit like that. Oh, that's so funny. So just like that, for my summary with the overall two sets that I have analyzed, our friend here did pretty well. I don't think there's anything that this guy did that was wrong, besides just that he needs a little bit work on the neutral. Like, I may have said a couple of things before while I was already questioning the analysis of what's going on in the fights. But besides that, I think that this guy did uh, an amazing job piloting Yoshimitsu. Just that, I can tell that there were moments that he wasn't unsure what to really go for with Yoshimitsu. Like, he attempted to go for Poison Breath, but then wasn't sure when to use it. Then there were moments where he got the Heat Engager, but instead went for something very safe. Because he wasn't sure if the King was going to go for something either. Which this is also falls down to overall feeling not confident that your mix-ups will work because that's the one thing about playing Yoshimitsu and I have this problem as well on my matchups where I go for a setup of some kind to get either an unblockable or to either get something safe but allow some form of mix-up and I still end up getting hit because the player that I'm fighting against is not respecting me it's not respecting my turn then if anything else I will say that the way that how he engaged the king with his heat engager need, needed a little bit more work is all I can say. But the fact that he used the right moments to flash is where I can say that our guy here did amazing. Because at the beginning, at the first set, he tried to force the mix up with 2-2 two -two into flash because he didn't condition the king yet to then feeling afraid or at least to see whether or not if the king was impatient enough to then press buttons. That's one. But then after that, he got accustomed to the king's overall patterns and overall aggression. And then he applied the flashes at the right moments and actually got the launches that he wants. I, I say that this guy is well on the course of getting to a high rank uh, past Fujin. Getting to Raijin, to then to Kishin, and then hopefully to Bushin after that. So... Yeah, this is my match analysis. Uh, again, if you like what you watch, and give it a like, dislike if you want to, and subscribe if you want to see more of my shit. And yeah, that's it. See ya.